is one of our most popular comedians, both on the stage and on the telly box. Recently, he's undertaken one of the biggest comedy arena tours of all time, selling in excess of an incredible 700,000 tickets. Wow. Please welcome the wonderful, sharp-suited Michael McIntyre. <laughs> We are, but we've had a bit of a trip today. getting I made it. here, is that right? Costly. I've been in traffic for two hours. <gasps> oh. There's a, a student protest. I knew nothing about it because I'm not a student and I'm not protesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they're protesting about. Maybe me plugging my DVD. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, so, no, I've been in traffic for ages. But I got let through by a community officer who um, I hope doesn't get fired for me revealing this, but he did let me through because I told him I was coming on this oh, show. they're quite useful. And oh. he had come to my show. He was like, oh, so you're at the O2, yeah, come on through. <laughs> so I went down the bridge on my own. With all the students going, who the hell is that guy? <laughs> if it wasn't for the wonderful sterling work that uh, this country's community officer, support officer, this is fantastic. So um, I'm there because of that, here because of that. Well, it's wonderful. And obviously, on this tour, which ends in a couple of weeks' time, doesn't it? This incredible Yes, I'm really there. I do Liverpool for three nights, and then I've got six nights at Wembley next week, and that's it. I'm sort of coming home, which is nice, because oh, Wembley yeah. is like right next to me. 71 dates. Yeah, I don't know how I've done lot. that. I didn't yes. think I was going to be, I'm, I literally didn't think I was going to be able to do it physically. <laughs> Michael, um, but I've made as it. you toured the country, have you found uh, places they've laughed more than in others? I'm sure they all laugh hysterically, but do you go <laughs> down to that? No. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, definitely, there are places that, that yeah. seem more up for it. Um, um, well, the Ireland was fantastic. I just got back from Dublin and Belfast was uh, wild, really. They just were completely... You seemed completely surprised that they found you funny. Well, I just, just, they were just so happy to see me. I don't know why. I mean, they do... There are sections that go... They're a bit nutty. They're a bit nutty. And it was very... The weather was so awful there. I mean, I downloaded... I don't know if you've got an iPhone, but I put down... You know when you put yeah. the, the weather and you put the new city you go through? It was, yeah, yeah. It's one of the most depressing things I've seen. And you see yeah. five <laughs> days of misery. Yeah. Just heavy rain, heavy rain, heavy rain, heavy rain. Because <laughs> we used to just know one day in the future. Do you see? Five days of hell. <laughs> you just want to, you know, light rain on Thursday. Let's go out and do something. It's really <laughs> you the only place I've been to actually when I, I, I opened the curtains in the morning in the hotel and the room got darker. That's <laughs> how I, I had to close the curtains to encourage myself to get out of bed. <laughs> you change your material though. I mean, if you're going up north, you're down south or Ireland or. Yeah, I do. I always try and uh, do local adapt. stuff. Uh, yes, I do. Um, always. Um, um, because they like that and they appreciate that. I mean, I, I was just in Dublin and, and you know, obviously you do local stuff. I told them about the story that of my, uh, of the last time I was in Dublin, I took my family and I bought my son a little memento of the trip, which was an, an Ireland uh, football top. And he never wore it because we're not from Ireland. But he wore it once. <laughs> what, in two years, he's worn it once. He wore it to school. That was the day they took the school photos. <laughs> I have an Irish child. <laughs> All the shots are around the house of my Irish son. Sort of loved me with my Irish show. <laughs> also, I suppose I've been a bit, a bit guilty as well, because I don't actually know where my roots are. I don't know if I'm Irish or... Because McIntyre yeah. could yes. be Irish or Scottish. Yeah. But do you yeah. live in North so London? So I do tell the Scots that I'm Scottish and the Irish and Irish, but now I've done this right. on TV, it's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, is it true that you grew up in Muswell Hill, North London? Yes, I've always lived on the, on, on the northern line, in fact. Yes. yes. Now, so I've, basically, I've basically <laughs> just gone... <laughs> Down. I'm going to end up in a retirement home in, in Mill Hill East or High Park. Instead of making my way down. But talking about where you're born oh. and, and the class thing we were talking about earlier, do yes. you think that being born in North London has made you the person you are, or have you just, you know, do you but think you nearly made me Jewish. I mean, I couldn't have <laughs> been Jewish. Really? Everyone at school was Jewish. I mean, I, you I went to posh primary school, didn't you? A posh primary school? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, What's a posh I primary school? Do you school? think you're posh middle school. class? Do I think I'm posh or middle class? Yeah. I don't know. It's not something I think about. No, um, I don't sort of look at myself in the mirror every morning and go, I'm middle to upper class. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the day off. <laughs> Let's take the day off. Yeah. <laughs> no, a class is not something anybody yeah. really thinks about, is it? And, and uh, certainly, you know, I think that... Um, well, I certainly feel completely classless. Yeah. Um, you know, when I'm performing and you perform to... 
extraordinary demographic yeah. of people of every God. single because I actually watch the people a bit creepy I know but I do watch them coming in sometimes you know because yeah. I, it, it marvels that there's so many of them and you just think yeah, there's really young people and old people and it's old, old people you wouldn't incredible. believe would, would find you funny yeah in. and for those few who haven't managed to see you over the last year obviously you've got your DVD Michael McIntyre show t showtime <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's a weird photo, isn't it, on the front? I don't it's know what I was doing I there. Know, I don't know, I don't what know what you who were selected doing that. Either. No one's ever on. stood like that for <laughs> any reason. <laughs> I mean, it's not absolutely absurd. I didn't. I didn't actually pick this. You're I standing on one leg. I, I mean, who was? Can you imagine? Would a taxi stop for a guy doing that? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Um, and this is, of course, the audience behind me at the O2, which was not an easy shot to take. Oh, yeah. Well, I actually, wow. it, that was actually on my gig at the O2. Okay, well, let's see and a little got, bit of Oh, yes, it. let's see some. That happened. I mean, you know, uh, you put the tickets on sale and you just hope funny things, enough funny things happen yeah. to fill two hours <laughs> in a show. And I keep on always, when I'm on stage, I'm always going, you know, the other day, the other day, it's like I had this one hilarious day. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that day was like six or seven years ago. Sometimes it never actually even happened. <laughs> Where do you actually thing. get your material from? I mean, is it from home? Does your wife oh. agree with all your jokes or does she go, Michael? Oh, yes. No, she's, she's fine with it. I mean, it was nerve-wracking when she came to see the show because she's in it a lot. Oh, she's without, lovely. Without, yeah. without her. That's Kitty, um, isn't it? Yes, oh. look at her. I've done well. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I let myself go, and, and she... And she <laughs> no, I, I'm with Brad Pitt on this. Um, but she's not... Followed my lead. If you hear about you using it, I mean, does she ever say, you can't do that, I'm sorry? You can't use that? Um, yeah, once, I think. No, not, not really. She's all she, right tends then. To, she tends to enjoy it because she knows it's. If people are laughing, if we're all laughing, then it's reality. <laughs> and it pays it's, the bills. It's, it's exaggerated reality. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and, you know, if people weren't laughing, you would get a sense from an audience. Because, you know, you're, you're women. You know what women are like. Yeah. If you're saying something Big that is shape. not accurate, yeah. then you will get a groan and they will walk out. Um, and so I think, you know, my wife, it, she's all women. But do you ever women. reveal too much oh. about her, about her underwear or stuff like her that? Oh, where's this yeah. going? Oh. Oh. Janet, you've got very saucy. <laughs> <laughs> there was a joke about control pants or something. Control pants? Oh, no. Yeah. But control pants? joke about her putting and, tights on. And sadly, and we haven't time to hear it. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's never won them. She's counting. Michael, 